Welcome to HeroQuest fans. We're back. It's Saturday night and we're ready to do some Rise of the Dread Moon. We got Bohemius calling dibs on the wizard. Excellent. Welcome Wardicon. Anybody else we got watching us live on Twitch? Jason Wolfpack, Fubar Jr., El Verg. Sir, make my day. Your mom on my head. <laughs> Welcome all. Yep, it's the call for heroes. How you doing, Bohemius? I'm fine, thank you. Alright, thanks for your patience there. How about you? Oh, I was trying to get some trying to get some things done. I didn't quite get them all done before uh, the stream began, but yeah, things have been going pretty well. Yeah, there's like one one store that has the uh, spray paint color that I want, but uh, I'm not gonna make it there tonight. <laughs> Maybe Monday I'll pick it up. I have uh, Orc Quest now, and I was going to uh, paint the undead. Uh, kind of that off-white color, similar to Hero Quest. Just a base coat. Uh, of course, that'll be a big job because there's so many figures in that crammed into that box. Jason Wolfpack says I'm down to play again, but I'll defer to anyone else who didn't get to play last time. Yeah, I don't think that'll be a problem. Oh, is yes. Yeah, I mean, we've got plenty of room. So jump right in. Um, Hero Quest fans, Discord, um, Quest Talk, voice channel. More than welcome to join us. And shout out to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio, playing his music here on YouTube. Good stuff. Just get rid of the screen here. Yeah, so we've got our wizard. If ever, ever a whiz there was, Wizard of Oz is one because. <laughs> Can't make it rhyme with Bohemius. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so when last we left our heroes, uh, they were going through the Elven Temple of the Moon. They discovered this room here with the Alchemist Bench. And we've got the Monk and the Halberdier, or the Glaive as he's called in this quest. <laughs> Uh, pack. We've got the striker out here, dwarf, wizard, arbalist. No monsters, so it's Zargon's turn. Uh, let me just see what I've got here. Do you have any questions about anything there as far as your stuff goes, Bohemius? Hey, uh, the only thing I don't remember because uh, they got mixed up are my spells. What I have left. Okay, so I didn't use many. You have fire, air, and earth, and it looks like you've used up Tempest, Genie, and Rock Skin. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And I guess it depends on who shows up as far as... Um, yeah, so Jason Wolfpack might be joining us. Sure, hop on in. Actually, I need to double check something here. I'll be right back. I just need to make sure I've got the right cards out. Just a moment, guys. Yeah, Jason Wolfpack, you can jump in if you want. Be right back. Ah, Ribby's here. Welcome, Ribby. I was just wondering Thank you. <laughs> what heroes we are going to have tonight. I checked earlier and nobody was on at 6, so I just assumed there was nothing, so I started doing other stuff. Oh, you didn't know we changed from uh, 7 to 9? Oh, I did not know that. Okay. Okay, well, you heard it here uh, last. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. 7 to 9 p.m. 
on Saturdays. Yeah, I know we used okay. to do six to ten for the longest time. I tried to update it everywhere, but yeah, that's the problem. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, sorry I made you wait then. Tried to warn him. All right, well, Fubar Junior just cashed in a bonus monster. I appreciate that. He noticed that I had nothing to do. Let's check my cards here as well. I'm here now. I, it took me a moment to get my audio reconfigured. Right. I don't know. I updated Discord and it, like, Jason. defaulted everything again. Yeah. Jason of the Wolf Pack. Okay, are you... Uh, okay, so we've got our wizard and Ruby and Jason. What do you, what do you guys want as far as characters tonight? Uh, I'm happy to do the monk again, if that's already set up for you. Sure. Fine by me. Looks like he's used Earth at the moment. I had been doing the Barbarian, so I guess I'll do that. Okay. So that means he'll be coming in the in the door. Mm hmm We'll just start playing Goldberg's music, and then suddenly he comes out. Uh, let me just configure this here real quick. And Ribby, do you need uh, a rundown of what you've got as far as uh, equipment? Gear? Yeah, I've been out, been out for a few weeks here, so I'm behind. All right. Lots of hor swords still, I hope. Yes, Master of Swords. Okay. Hoarding and sorting. That's right. Hoarding and sorting. You know it. Okay, Barbarian has 1,015 gold. So theoretically, he could run to the store real quick if he wanted to buy something. Another sword. Maybe that's, maybe that's where he was the whole time. Yep. He was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, it just shows the uh, the shopkeeper is, is just sitting there, like, his, you know, his face in his hands while the like you just see like swords and armor just strewn everywhere, and it's like he's looking at two like identical looking swords, and he's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> it's like, sir, please, we're closing. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> she's doing some shopping for Christmas. It's April. Yep. Okay. Actually, it's March, but yeah. Uh, okay, so the Barbarian has that gold. He's got two superior res restoration potions. Let's see, is that reflected correctly? Yes. And he also has a healing plus two. Two potions. Hold on, let, me, let me start over there. Potion restoration. Two of them. Yeah. Two of them. Yeah. Uh, two frost skin. One plus two healing. Uh, heroic brew. He's got two of those. Yes, two heroic brews. He's got ocean of icy strength, and he's got a potion of battle rage. Cool. All right, and I need to draw skills for you as well. a quick shuffle which quest is this quest seven elven temple oh, of the moon the barbarian with his many swords it's funny i don't know what that clip is from some uh naruto 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 okay it's defended like millions of people. All those Naruto fans. They're gonna come at nah, me. Nah, not gonna give up these swords. They're gonna come <laughs> at me with the Naruto run. I can't arrest all of us. Okay. All right. So you've got alertness and you've got Berserker Fury. Automatically ignore trap. Automatically ignore trap or wandering monster or event. Okay. And then Fury is what there? 
You may trade any number of defense die to roll an equal number of attack die. Interesting. Yep. Okay. Good. Yep. I assume this weapon didn't change. There's like. Uh, yes, weapon wise, you've got two bastard swords, two great swords, two long swords. <laughs> yep. <laughs> a helmet, okay. uh, a short sword, bracers, longbow, crossbow, mace, chainmail, and shield. Oh, shield I didn't have before. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. All right. And I'm evil. Okay. All right. Good, good deal. Okay. We'll just, uh, Go on from there. Okay, we got a bonus monster. Oh yes, am I gonna make sure I got the right stuff here? Now I also have that the wizard has two lunar charms. Is that correct? And that the party has a total of six reputation tokens. And the monk also has a lunar charm. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna hold these. I'll give it to one of the companions last time. Oh, you gave it to one of the mercenaries? No, um, the dwarf. Oh, the dwarf. Oh yeah. I took a second one to to hold it for. Uh, for the barbarian. Yeah, the dwarf has a lunar charm also. <laughs> so that's four for the party. Ah. I got two on my uh, on my character sheet. Okay. Two lunar charm. I wrote them that I had two as well, um, but I had given them to the. I thought I'd give him to the, to the dwarf because he wanted to try to activate one of the statues with it. Okay, so the dwarf has one, barbarian has none. Wizard has two. Monk has one. Oh, you're right. Okay. All right, so is the Barbarian going to do any shopping? I guess it is my turn. I can uh, draw a card. Sorry, let me do that. OK. Oh, and I actually have two more, so I should do. Wait, Zargon is evil? When did this happen? Yeah. You had to read uh, a series of comics, novels, and you also have to watch an animated series. And it explained in great detail how he uh, became evil. But I won't uh, get into that now. So, just kidding. <laughs> what? If it wasn't in the movie, it didn't happen. Okay, so... This is the Barbarian's goal. <laughs> a sword made out of a cluster of swords. That's hilarious. I'm getting a little bit of distortion from you, Bohemius. Uh, let's see. Can't see that very well. No, you don't. I, uh, I had the microphone off. It's good now. Okay, somebody was, was glitching. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine now. We're all fine now. How are you? Okay. All right. Now that I've done my turn, uh, the heroes can begin. So, wizard. Really loud, Bohemian. Oh, lower his. So uh, the wizard will enter inside the room, the uh, with the table, and search. Search uh, for treasures. He's already been searched this uh, this room for for treasure. I don't remember. I don't think so. So I'm going there, just in front of the uh, the monk, 
I search yeah. for treasures. I don't think we did treasure because I used the earth spell or the earth uh, monk ability know. for traps and secret doors. Yep. Okay. All right. So you find a lunar charm. Okay. And you also find a random potion. Cool. I take it we're going to be drawn from the alchemy deck here. Actually, everyone is loud except Kurgan. Oh. <laughs> here, let me uh, let me fix that. Ribby, uh, go ahead, say something. 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 Ha ha. Is it not working for you? Um, I can hear you fine, but he's saying that everybody is super loud and I'm quiet. Oh yeah, I remember right. that you were having that problem before. Yep. You gotta have that booming voice. Well, I don't want to scream the entire stream either. Screamcast. Let's see. Screamcast. I'm at two hundred percent. All right, is that any better? Sounds more balanced. Okay, thanks, Virg. All right, let's get that alchemist draw here. Potion of Dexterity. Okay. Yeah, I'll pass that potion directly. I don't know. It's not... No, I'll keep it for now. We give it late, um, later to the barbarian. He twirls it around in his hands, expertly placing it into his bag, teasing everyone with it. So now he now has three dexterity potions. Yes. Uh, no excuse not to get... Cool I should have also uh, two ingredients that I can craft, right? Yes. You have a... Um, a mysterious, mysterious flower and a sacred plant. down the sacred plant okay um yeah i'll i'll ch take your word for it um where would you or would you like to craft those into something uh, no i need uh, i need you to double check this because i'm not sure if i if i got those or they're leftovers from the last uh, adventure and, and i should have delete it <laughs> <laughs> well i'm sure you would have crafted them into something right if you had them from before Yes, but I, yeah. since I don't remember if I uh, canceled them from my sheet, I don't remember if these ones are new okay. or I just forget to cancel them. Yeah, I just have Mysterious Flower. Okay, just Mysterious Let's see. Okay, so that can be turned into yet another Potion of Dexterity or a Potion of Defense. Uh, get a Potion of Defense. Defense, and this one I'm going to give it to the... Uh, to the monk directly. Excellent. Thank you. That's it. My turn. Oh, I still have the uh, striker. Striker. Enter inside the uh, the room and go close as possible to the uh, to the door. Five. Okay. a little bit more room on your sheet here. Dwarf. All right. Do we have a dwarf yet? Would someone want to take control of the dwarf for now, or should we uh, just kind of make him inactive until such time as maybe Jacer joins us or whoever? He had a pretty heated battle last time. He might be taking a knee. <laughs> Yeah, Ribby, you can use the uh, the dwarf until uh, until Jason right, comes. I got bullied into it. <laughs> yeah, Adam Sandler was giving him Gatorade and some high quality H two O over <laughs> at the water station. Gatorade is better. <laughs> All right. Okay. So for now, uh, I'm gonna take the Ribby the dwarf. 
Yeah, I glued the I glued the rim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to work on those. I didn't even think about it today. Yeah, get to printing. Come on. What are you what waiting for? No, it's what it's cool. You? Whatever whatever you're able to do, it's super cool that you've got those yeah. boards in the first I'll get place. You, I'll get you those silicone ones pretty yeah. soon. Yeah. That's right. Is the stream not working? What's going on here? Oh, no, it's there. It's fine. Okay. That was weird. Sometimes it just tells me that there's an error. And I'm just like, oh, no. All good. It's from Elden Ring, the video game. Uh, a sword made out of a bunch of swords. Yeah, I guess I should have recognized it has kind of like a chunky, kind of feathery style for some, some of the art. <laughs> Is uh, is an homage because the, the writer of uh, the song of Fight and Fire. Uh, oh, yeah, Game of Thrones. Uh, Game of Thrones, exactly. Yeah. So it's an homage to Game of Thrones. Uh, I was thinking of the one, the one Elden Ring. I mean, I always thought you know he was a fan of Tolkien because he, <laughs> J.R.R. Tolkien, George R.R. Martin. Can't help it. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So, wizard's done his thing. So, go ahead, Ribby, with the dwarf. Oh, you probably need to know what he's got. Yep. Okay. Uh, he's got a battle axe, crossbow, longsword, helmet. Am I going too fast? No, I'm good. Hammer. Bracers. What's the hammer thad? Uh two dice. One black, one two. white. Black, one white. Because as okay. a champion, axes and hammers have a bonus. Uh well. br bracers, tower shield. That's the two dice, but it slows you down. Torch. Six hundred and five gold. And Oh, wait a second, wait a second. I drew alertness for him, so I, technically I shouldn't have given alertness to the Barbarian. My bad. All right, let's draw another one. Uh, yeah, it's alertness and slip are his, his two uh, skills. Okay, I assume slip is something to do with either attacks or traps or something. Unless you pass through monsters. Pass through monsters. Okay, Got so it. the Barbarian, instead of alertness, he will have hidden reserves. We get two body points back. Got it. <clears throat> Should I go down here? All right. Yo. Okay, and the dwarf also has. Let's see. Healing one d six. He's got two of those. Two of frost skin, oh. healing plus four, wolf spain potion, superior restoration, magic resistance for damage, potion of defense, dexterity, a caltrop, a smoke bomb. Yeah, smoke bombs you got to use against an adjacent foe. I realized that. Um, he's okay. got a lunar charm and grog. Okay. And he also has control of the arbalist, who's like a crossbowman. And I think okay. that mercenary has a potion of warmth. Just like the striker has a potion of warmth. So they each have backup. Oh, but does the glaive? Glaive doesn't have any special potions. But I hey. think. Okay, I have though that one of these guys has rock skin. I do. Okay. Oh, okay. I have it. I have it active on me. Excellent. Okay. Just get a little. Think so I can remember. 
Let's put a little rock. Good deal. Okay. All right. Dwarf. Okay. <clears throat> we go in. We move in. So, wizard searched that room. That was the last thing that happened. Yes. Love. Oh, now it says reconnection successful. <laughs> It's like that meme where it's like, yeah. you're like, uh, control, alt, delete. You're like about to end task and then suddenly it starts working. It's like, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> what a pain. All right. So, yeah, the dwarf took his turn. It goes into the room and was going to do an action. Open the door, please. Opening the door. Free action. And revealing the room. Oh, and then I gotta grab some stuff. Okay, thought I had everything put out. Okay, there's a door. Hey, while you're doing that, maybe you could tell me what is the story for this quest? Oh yes, glad you asked. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm <laughs> what I'm trying to do. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll I'll give you the preview here. That's true. I forgot you were gone. Right. You're right back, guys. I suppose I could just cheat and open up my quest book, but I don't want to do that. All right, so that's what you see. And let me give you the quick story here. You guys hear me, hear me okay? Yep. Yeah. All right, this is quest seven. Elven Temple of the Moon. The Temple of the Moon is in shambles. It is unclear who or what caused this desecration. Myriad ransacked shrines and crumbling statues reek of arsonous smoke. The structures that once proudly represented elven culture and knowledge are in ruins, and foul dread magic yet lingers within the temple. Heroes, you must collect as many lunar charms as you are able, and abscond before Zargon's forces arrive. And also, I should warn you that the dread moon is on the rise, and so monsters you encounter may, uh, may be stronger than you're used to. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, for instance, these guys are going to roll five dice of attack. Be careful. Yep. <laughs> oh. These are Chaos Warriors. And looks like they've got a Magus Guard uh, leading them as well. 
And there's a door behind him. Okay, so you moved eight, I believe. Yeah. Um. Tell you what, I will stay put and uh, fire crossbow directly south. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Oh, really? <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Another so Chaos Warrior turns. steps out of the shadows. Wasn't ready, hit first. Did they multiply on hit? That's terrifying. <laughs> I have done that before. The Dread Moon rises, said Count Cogbox. Welcome. Hey, one second. One second, guys. Too late to close the door? <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess the rest of us are looking at you. Uh, is, is there anything anything interesting in there? Or do we have the old clear? Alright. I have to make a run to a friendly local game shop to get some more miniatures to keep up with us. No, I'm just kidding. Alright. Okay. So you're firing the crossbow. Which uh, which character are you firing at? Uh, directly south of the door. Okay, so this one right here. Yeah. One skull. Oh, I gotta see if these guys are elites. I forgot to do that. Okay, starting from the left. Okay, they're all normal. All right. So he rolls his nor normal defense. So, black shields make them elite? Yep. Wow. Okay, so one hit. When the enemies get the line shield, is that still a wrestling move? No. Or is that only if it's uh, close close quarter? Well, I'm taking it as heroes uh, get them on the white shield. Okay. Bad guys get them on the black shields. But... Fair enough. Yeah. Good question, though. Oh, yeah, and the dwarf has the championship belt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I need to. forgot to mention that. So. Put that in there, too. What's that do? Anything? Uh, you can cash it in for gold at the end of the quest <laughs> if you survive. You can also uh, plant it on one of the other heroes and run away. Oh, it, it's Bohemius, is that? <laughs> the one he made. Yeah. He, okay. upped, he upped the gold value and <laughs> okay. uh, gave us that really cool uh, AI art. Wait, how much is it now? 200,000, you said? 200, 200. okay. 200,000? Gotcha. Okay. 2 million? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you're the boss. We had to, we had to fight the legend. <laughs> yes, Grognak. <laughs> you missed the legend, Ruby, I'm sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> this, this is what he looked like. So, <laughs> okay. He, they stretched him Beautiful. out, though. He, he vowed that he would... He would come back at SummerSlam. I'm, I'm going to print those out for sure. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. All right, so you did one damage. All right, and then you've also got the uh, Arbalist under your command. Right, and he... Let's see, he can move six. Two, three, four, five. So we should put some battle music on. I guess just get him in. <clears throat> the only thing he can do is get in the door of that room. One, two, three, four. Yeah, because I can't go any other. I can't go six side the other way. So that'll have to be good enough for that. Ah, thank you, Count Cogbox. creature comes out of the shadows oh lord chat's brutal tonight <laughs> yep okay 
All right, so after the dwarf is the monk. Gosh. Question. Mm -hmm. Am I able to drink a potion and do a monk key ability on the same turn? Oh, yes. Yep. The quest book makes it very clear you can uh, chug as many potions as you want. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the potion of airwalk, can you explain what that does? That'll let you hover over traps without triggering them. Hover over traps. Okay. I don't know if that was allowing me to like move over or jump over an enemy, but I guess not. No. And a spell scroll or swift wind, is that uh, doubles your move? Additional, yeah, additional. Okay. Well, I guess first things first. Let's go and roll to see what my movement will be. Five. All right. Um, two, three, two, three, four. So that kind of limits things. Um, let's see if I can go in the top right corner of the new room. Okay. Is that right, right spacing? I think so. All right, there you are. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to center myself to do a monk ability. Uh, I'm going to attempt to find it again. Count cock boxes. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Eye of the storm. Um, so is it... You need to turn up the heat to fix that. Say that again, sorry. Oh, no, he's talking about too many uh, healing potions being out there. He's going to have to turn up the heat. <laughs> okay. So I just feel like that's going to go go pretty quickly. Um, so I'm going to attempt Eye of the Storm uh, as an action make one unarmed attack against all adjacent enemies. All right. Uh, so it should uh, affect two of them, correct? Yeah, you're going to roll one black, one white. And yeah, you've got two cast warriors in your sights there. <laughs> One black, one white. Yep. Oh, oh. He missed. Almost a wrestling move. Almost. Uh, so then I'm going to bring in my mercenary. Uh, was it eight? What, what's the movement on that? Upgrade. Uh, mercenary would move six. Three, four, five, six. So that'll put him right in the beginning of the doorway. And he'll attempt to attack the uh, Chaos Warrior directly in front of him. Oh God. <laughs> okay, that's an upgrade. Uh, All right, so I, I think I think my mercenary. Yeah, so I think it's the exact space to put him in the door. Directly in front. Yeah. And what's his attack die? Three, and he can hit diagonally as well. Um, he'll just attempt the one directly in front. Okay. Um, I guess tomato potato doesn't really matter. Let's go with the one in front. And you just said it's three, three white? Yes. Ah, one skull. Hmm, blocked. No damage. And that would be turned. And the mighty barbarian. Yeah. Oh, um, a quick question about caltrops. Yes. Do those require an action to set down? Hmm. Good question. Let me double check here. I don't think so. I was looking in the no action required book a long time ago. Okay. Place caltrop tile on any one square as you move through. The hero oh, but it has to be on the talamon. Onto that Caltrop's tile, they trigger the trap and must roll one combat die. If it lands on a white shield, they may continue the movement. Any other result, the movement ends. Okay. Got it. It's like dropping okay. a landmine <laughs> as you go. Yep. Um, where is the Barbarian? Oh, yes. Where is the Batman? I'll get him for you in a second here. Alright, there he is, at the door. Okay. Oh. 
if I use my own thing correctly. There we go, seven. So we'll uh, we'll beeline it towards the action. So open this door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or yep. wait, a, wait a second, wait a second. So I should tell you before I have you move all that way. There is a trap door here that leads here. But of course, it ends your turn when you do it. But that's mm -hmm. up to you if you want to go that way versus just straight. Um, right. Let's see. There's a nice monster there waiting for you. I think either way it's going to be similar distance. Monster. I'll just go north. And I'll, uh, yeah, then I can work on that abomination from behind. Okay. I gotta count for these monsters here. Thank you, Junior Zargons. Oh man. Okay. Skill for the barbarian. Maybe it'll make him run faster. <laughs> it's funny. There, there's Jacer. From the top rope, here comes the dwarf. Dodge and trip. This is for the barbarian. Dodge and trip. Sorry for being unprepared. I could have grabbed two more figures here. Okay, so we got one of those and one of those. Moment. I packed my stuff up and I uh, wasn't thinking I was going to have to unpack it all, but yes, I do. Okay, so what's uh, what's going on now? Barbarian? Uh, I was running Great. up to the... Uh, yeah, just going north. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's it. He's wobbly from leg day. Good old leg day. Okay, now it's my turn at long last, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Alright, we got a goblin jumps out of the trap door and the specter floats out to attack the barbarian and yes he's glowing okay let's see we'll get three two skulls barbarian oh no four excuse me Empowerment, okay. Didn't matter. Still only two. Upgrade. Oh man. Still defending with f four, I think. Yeah, yeah. Locked. <laughs> Cha-ching! No damage. 
Upgrades. Oh man. Just a moment. So we got a Molotov Cocktail Goblin there. Bonus Treasure Search. Okay. You guys got a Bonus Treasure Search. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me look at my cards here. That's all I'm gonna do. Or no, that's not all I'm gonna do. What am I saying? I might as well have these guys do something. Let's see. Get this creature in one, two, three. And the Femir is gonna shoot ball of flame at the Arbalist. After he stops falling over. What's the Arbalist defense? Well, it's Ball of Flame, so he's going to have to roll uh, two red dice. Okay. 2d6. I need five or six to block the damage. Okay, roll the six, so he takes one damage. But yeah, his normal defense is three. But it's magic, so... Yeah, I don't have any of my game cards out to reference. All right. Okay. Other monsters. So we're gonna... <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. All right. We've got uh, this first chaos warrior is going to attack the monk with five. Three skulls. And with the rock skin, I'm up to is it six defend? I don't remember. Four? I don't remember. You, yeah, you get two extra from Rock Skin. Bonus equipment. Anyone? Thank you. Let's see. Two, three, four. Yeah, you defend with six. six. Someone just got a spear. Wrestling move. Yeah, yep. Deflect bum, 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 bum. All right. What do you, What would you like, or should I draw you a card? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna headbutt the the, the chaos warrior. All right, right in the helmet. All right. Clong. Somehow it works. <laughs> What's a big old dent in his helmet? All right. Okay, well, I still got monsters to move, so. Chaos Warrior. One, two. Retreats. Sounded like another skill. Let's 
Skill card for anyone, he says. Faint. Who wants to faint? Somebody gets faint, somebody gets spear. Cast Warrior steps forward to attack. Yeah, if you guys are having trouble keeping up. <laughs> How do you think I feel? I'm just kidding. All right, two skulls. Ah, defended them both. Nicely done. Blah, blah. Okay. All right. Uh, this Chaos Warrior is going to attack the Glaive with five. What's his defense? Two, three? Uh, three. Three. I got three skulls. Oh lord. Jeez. I blocked two of them. Or one of them. Two hits. And bonus potion for hero. Okay, but Wardicon, who is the bonus potion going to? The guy who just got killed? <laughs> oh no. Did the uh is he down? Uh, potion of magic resistance, yeah, but really wouldn't help. Okay. Well. What's the health of the uh, mercenary at? Uh, he was at two, so he lost two body okay. points. So he's, he's dead. He's dead. Is there a reaction to him being an adjacent to me? And me having a potion of healing? Uh, or is that not part of the house rule? Yeah, you can't pass a potion to him when there's adjacent to monsters. Okay, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Okay, it's fair for me anyway. So the glaive has, has perished. Okay, let's uh, pause for a second here and uh, divide up this gear. So we got potion of magic resistance. We've got the faint skill card. And we've got the spear weapon. Just two dice and a uh, diagonal and can also be thrown. So guys, who wants what? I feel like the monk's already pretty spoiled with a lot of things right now. So Yeah, but we got a lot of, of stuff too, so let's just check who got uh, who's missing uh, a magic resistance. So I have fire way... resistance, but I don't have magic resistance. Okay, so you get that one. Okay, so magic right. resistance against damage. The magic Yes. Alright, so I'll take potion magic resistance. Okay. And the spear get... goes in the collection of the barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> you accept? <laughs> yeah. We'll just close it to a sword. And what else? What, what was the last uh, item we got? What? What does fate do? Sudden unexpected fate. move puts you at an advantage. At an advantage, you may re-roll one set of dice. Attack, movement, or defense. Oh, you know, um, you know, they could have gone to the glaive, and he could <laughs> try to re-roll his defense. Eh? Eh? Too late. We didn't think of it. Those. The glaive was uh, was the only uh, mercenaries without with mercenary without a uh, potion. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll give yeah, it okay. I'll give it to you guys if you want. If you want to, otherwise, just give it to one of the heroes. Uh, uh, you guys decide. I I don't need a faint. So, I mean, so you're saying that the faint for the mercenary that just died to reroll one die? Well, he'd he'd reroll oh. his 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 defense dice. So all three? three? Oh yeah, shit! All three, yeah. I, my, oh okay. Take it. Uh, Try it. I guess. All right, we'll go for it. <laughs> Got to beat three skulls, of course. I know. That's that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, is it worth it? Because it's that's tough to fight against. But here it goes. Oh. Nope. Nope. No such luck. You tried though. Potion of warmth. Oh man. <laughs> Now that definitely came in after he was killed, though. So, yeah, G generosity is at, is at an end. Okay, but somebody does have a potion of warmth. Who, who wants it? Uh, give it to the arbalist. He just took one damage. Okay. Ar 
Monopolist. Under the control of the dwarf. So Jacer, um, you get two warmths for the Arbalist. Are you taking control of the dwarf then again? Uh, if everybody else has a hero, sure. Take it. All right. You just had to tie a shoe for a round. <laughs> Upgrade. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, he had to lace up his boots, and those boots have a lot of laces on them. Another bonus potion. So Wardicon is not showing any signs of slowing down tonight. Bonus potion for anyone, he says. Okay, but there's an upgrade. Okay, so potion of antidote. That's two body points healed from poison. Who wants it? Hmm. Uh, this, uh, well, uh, I, I don't think I have uh, an antidote. Give it to me. There you go. Okay. Jacer, do you need anything? Any rundown on what the dwarf has? Uh, I don't think so. Not unless they used a bunch of stuff. Not so far. Oh. Take them, take them all right. Okay. He wants to shuffle the potions deck. Very well. Shuffling these up. What I should do is just record like a video of, of me with uh, white gloves on doing the like the casino style shuffle. <laughs> well, I'll hire somebody who knows how to do that and then put that. And it's like, hey, wait a minute, <laughs> how did his hand suddenly change? That's not a real shuffle. Okay, it's been reshuffled. Okay, we had another upgrade of the monster, right? Or no? Yes, we did. Just bonus monster and an upgrade. Okay. All right, a cultist appears behind the specter. Where is Xerxes? <laughs> Do we get that second abomination I summoned out? We're making it too easy for them. Well, I just got to decide where that second abomination is going to go. Might as well just pop out of the tunnel. Okay, so it's still my turn, believe it or not. Okay. Mook's mercenary should be out of here, right? Yeah. yeah he failed a second try. Okay, so this other Chaos Warrior is going to go one, two. And attack the monk. You mean the dwarf? Oh, because he's got the championship belt. Okay, attacks yeah. the dwarf. He attacks the dwarf. He he was gonna attack the monk, but then he saw a hint of gold peeking out from the the dwarf's tunic, and he became greedy. He decided that belt will be mine. Uh, did they have the power shield equipped or? Battle axe. Uh, nobody said anything, but I had battle axe written down. Okay. Summon mummy. All right. I'm just 
gonna spend the whole quest just pulling out more monsters. Okay. <laughs> All right. So he does the attack. The door. Oh, 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 Yahtzee! Five Almost. Golds. Ah, thank you, Sand Swift. Yeah, the forces of Zargon increase in number. Chaos reigns. Under there, oh. Two damage. Hey. Did you get a wrestling move? Okay, you're down. All right, I'm going for like I'm doing a body slam, and then my legs give out. He falls on top of me. <laughs> he gets one damage. I get two. <laughs> okay. And I'll go with a uh, I'll do a D six. Right. Yeah, I got a couple of those anyway. Might as well. Try to save yourself. Five. Five. Not bad. Old stream deck, okay. That other Chaos Warrior heard about the gold belt, but he can't get in there. So he's just gonna go one there and oh yeah. The Magus Guard, one, two, three, four. And he's gonna blast the dwarf with all flame. Okay, so roll your 2d6 there, Jacer. Alright. Ooh, nothing. Two more hits. I'm using my potion of magic resistance for damage. Ah. So I chug my potion, go in the belt, and the fire just hits the belt and nothing happens. Good use of that magic resistance. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, those newly placed monsters aren't going to be able to do anything at the moment. So, okay, back to heroes. Wizard first. Well, uh, the wizard casts courage, courage on uh, the dwarf. Okay, so the dwarf is fired up, and then uh, will not move. Take put. Or whoa, whoa. actually, should I can go in the other room? So let me move. Uh, I'm going to the six. Yeah, ten. Oh, and uh, hey, Mal Whip, welcome. Everybody check out Hardcore Hero Quest on the web. I'm moving in the same room with the uh, Abomination. Okay. Just uh, uh, south of the Abomination. Actually, north. Yes. And the... Um, one, two, three, four, five. And the striker goes in the room with the abomination and attack it. One, two, two, two north, but two to the left should be enough. Good. I 
Been here a while. Upgraded a monster. Woo. Oh Goose yeah. Calls. Sorry, I didn't didn't call you out there earlier. I'm just trying to keep up with all the cash ins. <laughs> It's good. It's good though. I like it. I like the participation. That's what we do it for. Okay, two skulls. All right. So he only gets three defense. Ching and a hit. Yeah, I'll remind you guys, you have a bonus uh, treasure search in the queue there. Okay, after the wizard's turn, we got... Did, uh, or, I'm sorry. Did the uh, abomination die? No, only it, they yeah. took, it took only one damage, right? Yeah, it's got okay. one Sorry, uh, the, the audio went away for a second, so I didn't understand what, what happened. Oh, yeah, you, you damaged him. Okay, perfect. Dwarf. All right. I'm uh, gonna go and uh, see. I'm gonna switch to tower shield long sword, and I'm gonna target the uh, Magus guard. Okay. Is that a uh, black dice from the wizard? Or white dice? Oh, good, good question. Um, I'm going to say uh, two black dice for the courage. So you'd be three white, white, two black. Two black. Three. Three skulls. Okay. Three skulls. Got him. Awesome. Down he goes. Uh, the Magus guard. I did the longsword to go diagonal. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Just killing the regular oops. cast warrior. Okay, so he's still there. Ha ha! No, Tempest is still scary, even though I got rid of the ball of flame. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sorry. You did three, he defended nothing, so you one shot at him. Wow. Okay. Ernest. Yeah. So the one uh, the one chaos warrior looked down at himself thinking that he'd been hurt and then he like took his hands away, there's no wound. <laughs> the boss looks over, What? What are you looking at me for? Uh oh. <laughs> he sees this big like he, Yeah. He he ducked and the Magus card got it all. He's like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> The camera pans back from the cast warrior only to relieve or only to show the guy behind him actually the one that got hit. Yeah, it's the old fake the classic out. camera trick. Yeah. Come on. Alright, so you took out the took out the leader. Alright, the arbalist is gonna uh, go He's gonna run in there uh, just south of the Femir. And try to go broadsword on that uh, abomination. That old so and so. All right. Two. Two skulls. Ching and a hit. Ching. Yeah. See. I don't have the I don't have the orange Gundam light. I just have the yellow. It doesn't quite have the effect I was looking for. Hearing some feedback there. I think that's you, Jacer. Probably. Um, it's it's raining pretty hard here too. Uh, time to take um, that's it for me. Okay, monk. All right, just make sure I'm gonna target the right. Uh, the, the, the one to the west of me, he has one damage on, and southwest is one damage. Yes. And 
Double south, uh, I guess three spaces south is one also one damage. Yes. Um, I'm gonna attempt. I'd like to attempt a special action kind of thing where common feet. Okay. Yeah, like an uncommon feat. Uh, so. Uh, unsheathing my bow and arrow, uh, I go into, with my great dexterity uh, and limberness as a monk, I go into a split trying to shoot an arrow between the legs of the monster in front of me to hit the one that's behind him. Okay. Alright, so you can roll uh, one combat die. If you get a skull, you succeed. If not, then you just fail and the arrow just goes wild and doesn't hit anything. Okay. Uh, any particular color? Just regular white. Aha! Okay, roll your four dice. Er, Sweet. I guess it would be three white, one purple. It's a breaking out to to a split. Uh. I get a, a good good target there. Mm. Let, let the air fly. Please. Okay. Three. Okay. The enemy tries to defend. Ooh, not a good day to be a bad guy. Didn't see it coming. Got him. We'll pretend that I actually rolled my movement die and that chose to do nothing. <laughs> okay. And then I'm done. Now, that Chaos Warrior, his body, as it hits the ground in slow motion, uh, strangely, the armor starts to dissolve, <laughs> and these bandages start to appear around his corpse, and, oh, it's a mummy. <laughs> nice. Right, gotta get imaginative with it. Okay, so, after the monk... You're free, mummy! Run! Run! You're free <laughs> from is. Chaos! You're welcome. All right, Barbarian. I could be running here. Oh, no, I'm attacking. Hmm. Ain't screwed. We're going, um, <clears throat> great sword. Oh, great. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Ace. oh, yeah. Golf clap. Okay. Oh wait, this is a uh, specter though, isn't it? Yeah, this is not a magic sword, is it? Oh what no! Is what? That is a yeah. oh, what a that... waste of a roll! No, what does that mean? To yeah. cry it, it's magic Molly. It is. Yeah, well, <laughs> more of a it's more of an honorary title. So yeah, it, it completely missed, completely whiffed. Bonus monster. Okay. Where were you guys last week when I needed you? I'm just kidding. No, I'm glad you're here now. Okay, uh, all right. Another cultist steps out from behind the statue. Okay. Come on, people. We need a bonus glaive for the barbarian. Anything else, barbarian? Ribby? Yes. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Not as sorry as you're going to be. No, just kidding. Um, yeah. <laughs> did you... Was there anything else you are going to do? You did your attack. Um, uh, no. All right. I guess you can't can't really run very far. No. There's no point to it. Okay. All right. Well. Then allow me to retort. Okay. So, we're gonna say, one, two, three. Oh no, I'm gonna get channel dreaded. Four. Oh, it's not gonna get the full 
fury of it. Well, okay, so I'm adjacent to one. So I'm going to get a one bonus. So yeah, he's going to do Channel Dread against the Barbarian. So I get this plus one. Four plus one is five. I just forget if that's that's enough. I think five is enough to do yeah, I'm for damage. Sure it is. And six plus is... Yeah, yeah. six plus is two. That's how we do math, hero quest style. Okay, so one damage. Okay, other one. One, two. I'm just gonna do channel dread. So this is plus plus one still. Two plus one three. I missed. Ready to serve, my lord. Ah, from down the hall, a voice Start. never. I was gonna say the specter will get the full uh, the bonus from both of them. Mr. Barbarian, the plus sir, you two. forgot your receipt. <laughs> okay, you guys get a mercenary. So barbarian, uh, I guess you get to decide what type of mercenary would you want. Well, I guess you only have one choice. Yeah, the glaive is the only one. Glaive and stick it next to me. Yeah. Uh, right. Unless they need it up there. Is it a magic glaive? <laughs> no. It's a regular glaive. Right. Did they, is there an upgrade mercenary slot? <laughs> oh, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Curses. Interloper. All right. We'll just say he uh, he runs in. Runs in behind you. That warrior music. Yep. Dun -dun. Came on. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> Come on, he's pumping the glaive up and down. Just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grabbing the ring ropes. Chaos card. Hey, I haven't got one of those in a while. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Fubar. I may not always get the name because sometimes it just pops up and it's like somebody cashed this in. So, okay. That. Okay, so it's still my turn. All right, uh, Spectre is now going to do, yeah, the pumped up uh, attack with plus two. Channel Dread against the Barbarian once again. Or five, six. Okay, so it's two damage. Down Ouch. Five. Okay, I can still move these other creatures. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, mummy moves. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's see, the dwarf is in the doorway, isn't he? Because he just can't get any closer. Okay, the chaos yeah, warrior. Yeah, the dwarf in the doorway. Chaos warrior attacks through the doorway. Bonus potion. See, all the sound effects are working now. So I can actually hear what's happening. This is great. Just had to increase the volume on the alerts. Poison, we're just going to ignore that. Okay, this is for the dwarf. Potion of warmth. Yeah, what, he right. would have he would have antidoted it anyway, but yeah, potion of warmth. When someone buys it, I figure it's it should be safe. It's like I bought something right. that killed you, and I blocked one of two damage. Ching. So you're down to three. Ooh, That's another correct. Upgrade. Another upgrade.
All right, I'm going to choose to turn this one into an elite. This Chaos Warrior. Oops. There we go. Okay, so he attacked. Moves out of the way. Two. Might as well move the elite in there. Okay, so five black dice. Oh, yeah. Three skulls. Hmm. Nice. Okay. All defense. Combo breaker. All right. What move would you like? Draw a card, definitely. Pump power slam. JYD action. Ugh. Bam. Right on his back. One skull. Damage. Okay. That's all the defending I can really do because you now that there's you know there are two, two there, so I guess the uh, the monk's gonna have to take two attacks. Tagging him in. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, this one could still reach him. Okay, so that Chaos Warrior is going to attack the monk. <laughs> yeah, I tagged him in. I like that. Okay, so five dice. Three skulls. I'm asty. Yeah, the monk realized that he's still in split formation. Feels un unprepared. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. So the the monk enacts uh, twisting torrents uh, as he kind of twirls his body to stand up, uh, uh, resulting in a in a complete miss from the attacker. He bent like a reed in the wind. Okay. No damage. All right, I think that's gonna be it for me. Back to the heroes. Okay. I'm only for movement. Seven. Lucky seven for the alchemist. Yeah. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so uh, I have something in mind, so it's going to be a little complicated. Good. Okay, so the I'm going to use a uh, how is called potion of magic uh, aptitude, magical aptitude to cast two spells. Let me make sure you've actually got okay. that. Um, magical aptitude. I don't have it. Uh, well, I see you have potion of magic that restores three spells. I'm looking for aptitude here. Potion of charm. You, I don't have the aptitude, so I'm not going to do no. what I want to do. No, sorry. You've got potion of recall and no, potion of magic. I have to... Yeah. Okay, I have to rethink. What I want to do. Need a rundown of the other stuff? Maybe I didn't have you up to date. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll move the uh, the wizard three square uh, south, two square to the left, two square south. Go adjacent to the, uh, the goblin. 
and attack with the um in the raven's town the knife yes that's i had a a, a diff, completely different tactic in my head so He's adaptable. <laughs> yeah, we, two skulls. We, we didn't play Mage in the Mirror, so it's probably throwing everybody off. Okay, two skulls. Well, <laughs> not looking good for the goblin. Got him. <laughs> he falls down and drops the Molotov cocktail that torches him up. Oh, the um, the striker is going to south. To left, one south, and stay put. Yep. Excellent. Okay, Dwarf. He's got those 10 pounds of gold around his waist. Better be careful. Everybody wants a piece of him. He's actually on this square there. Four. I got a four for movement. Uh, I'm gonna attack the elite guy in front of me. Right. With the long sword. Okay. So three white, two black. Still under the effects of courage. Three skulls. Nice. nice. Got to remember four blue dice. Okay. Man, it right. didn't help me at all. <laughs> Got him. Killed the first captain, and then the second one that took over got the field promotion. He got killed too. All right. Um, I'm going to take a one step forward. And stand next to the monk. All right. And plant the belt on him and run away. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 not, not trying to give you ideas, or maybe. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Then the arbalist. will move just south of the wizard and he will shoot at the south yeah and uh he'll shoot uh, let's see who's down there we'll shoot the 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 cultist straight down have a repeating crossbow. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Do, do I have to roll uncommon feet for that? No. Just roll a regular attack. I was just joking. One. <laughs> Your quest die hard. Yeah. Well, I didn't know if that had a special bolt. That was dipped in heroic brew or what? <laughs> Funny. Uh, okay, deflected it. All right. Uh, that's it for me. All right, the mighty monk. His body does seem to be uh, 
have like oh, a glowing light around it and its eyes are kind of like flickering yellow <laughs> yeah well if you get a three for movement you can hit two of them with the beam all right so i got a six um let's see one two three four five. so i can either go south of the zombie and do a beam north or yeah so i could either do that or yeah or stand there and go against the wall yeah that's actually a mummy but yeah or mummy i'm sorry uh let's see uh yeah go with the go with the mummy and fire straight up yeah, I, because I, I, then the other two will attack me on their turn, yeah. and then you're in the corner, and you can shoot them with the longbow. Yeah, I, yeah, I, that seems that seems pretty optimal. All right, so the monk scurries, uh, jumps over the dwarf with ease, um, and then runs straight south down the hall. It kind of comes to a skidding stop, turning turning west. No, no, no I'm sorry. Oh wait, where going, are you going? So jumped, I jumped uh, west over the monk, or sorry, over, over the dwarf as a uh, slight hurdle. And then I sprint straight south and then come to a skidding stop and turn west for a space. And I fire Burning Spirit uh, as an action, uh, expel a beam of brilliant energy from my soul's core. This beam may be straight which is going to be straight or diagonal continues until it meets a wall or a closed door each enemy in the beam takes two body points of damage all right may uh and then the uh mommy is incinerated chaos warrior holds up his fist and he gets he is torched as well mommy turns into second mommy no <laughs> So Joe is here. Uh, Joe, we have, let's see, a rare situation where we have enough heroes, but actually we could, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we could still fit you in if you'd like. Or if you just want to lurk, uh, it's fine, fine by us. Joe, would you like to control a hero? No mic. Lurk. Okay. Well, the Twitch chat is still open to you, of course, for uh, cash-ins for the good guys or the bad guys. You know, all night long I've been like, please, who who is going to buy me some monsters? It's like, it's just not happening enough. <laughs> just joking. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, that was that was amazing. So the monk took right, out monk is, two monk monsters. Monk is done. Two monsters. Okay. Now... The mighty barbarian and his faithful sidekick. Yeah. I'm swinging my greatsword again. All right. Acknowledged. Okay. No. Oh, he missed. Not even a wrestling move. Okay. <sighs> um, he could. He could stay there. Yeah, move the glaive up. Let's go left there. Yeah. We'll take a swing. Yep. Thanks, Fubar. I just gotta decide where I want him. Ah, black shield. Okay. Mitchell hit. One hit. Um, let's see. I defend with. Let's forget. I defend. Great. With... He's a dead premier. Oh yes. Good way to remember it. Darn it! Whew. No damage. Okay. My turn. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, so the Famir, I'm um, going to use Frenzy. 
So the monster attacking you howls in mad frenzy. So he can attack twice this turn. So I'm going to have him run forward and attack first the striker with four. Two skulls. Striker rolls three for defense. Or no, five. I almost <laughs> handicapped you there. Okay, so he blocked one, took one damage. Yep. Too bad I didn't do my full attack against him. Okay, so then the other attack goes against the wizard. Three skulls, wizard. Two hits. Oh, can't go negative. Oh. Alright, what do you I'm gonna use a uh, lesser lesser healing. Plus two. Plus two, okay. So good on potions. I think he's asking you, Bohemius. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine with potions. No worry. Okay. Not that it matters because I can't <laughs> can't get you anyway. Go long. It's an uncommon feat. Yeah. Can we throw potions? Yeah, oh, that would be a good one, actually. Yeah. That was probably the very first uncommon feat we ever did, like in the '90s. It was like, what if I threw the potion? Yeah, but it might break. Throw stuff around. Yeah. But, but, but oh, and or, uh, or quest, you can throw weapons at each other, but there's a, a chance to stab each other doing it. Oh man! So if you throw you throw a folding chair to your friend, it might uh, hit him yeah. in the face, knock him out. It depends on how far they are. So if you throw it real close, it's qualified because like... the ref saw it. <laughs> but if you throw it real far, you have to throw more dice, and so there's more chance. Oh, that's it's cool. pretty cool. Yeah, it's, mine's still in the box. All right, don't top. Okay. So use that card up. Let's see what else I got here? I've got so many cards. Oh yeah, deflect that. Make the maniacal laughter. All right, let's just go. Okay, these guys have used up their, well, oh, I can stack them. I hadn't thought of that. Okay, so I've still got dread lights. That means the monsters attack with an additional attack die against that affected hero. Okay, so I'm gonna do dread lights against the barbarian. With this guy, one, two. So barbarian, go ahead, roll. Let's see. Yeah, two red dice. Any five or six will break it. No, it. I think it's just one. Isn't it? Oh, did I say two? I meant to say one. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, you just roll one, but if it's a five or a six, you break it. Okay. Yeah, it's not... You're right. It's not like Ball of Flame. It's like Fire of Wrath. Two. Okay. So you're affected by that. I'll remember it by putting the little uh, Zargon symbol next to him. Okay. So the other one is going to cast Dread Lights on him as well. Go ahead and roll your 1d6. So they'll have two additional. Ah ha ha! <laughs> Double. Start drinking some potions here in a second. Yeah, kind of sucks. We'll just say those two represent. Okay, so two dread lights, and then I'll just move him. Oh, but if I move him, then I lose the bonus. Shoot. Okay, I guess he's going to get killed. Okay. Uh, now it's time for the specter to do um, channel dread against the barbarian. 
gets two bonus. Two plus, oh shoot, okay, four, missed. Excellent. Okay. That's Let's what you get. Move one, two. Okay, and then last, certainly not least, we got the Chaos Warriors. So, one, first one's gonna go for the belt. One skull only. Dwarf? Isn't four one damage? And six two damage? On dreadlights? Oh, because I, I use channel dread instead of attacking. So it's it's one extra attack. Am I understanding your question? But since he has a two it cast two different ones are casted on him, so it'd be like two extra attack. So yeah, I probably should have just attacked him normally, but I chose to use the spell instead. Right, and you got a two plus two, right? Yeah. Which is four. And isn't four one damage and six is two damage? Oh, no, you're right. You're right. I get it now. <laughs> Thanks. It's like, no, don't tell him. <laughs> Too honest. Yeah, okay. well, I was trying to think, I'm like, wait, did I have the card wrong? Because I thought I had it no, no, no. pretty good down pat from this play, and then I'm like, wait a second. I think... yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so the Barbarian is actually at four. Yeah. And now I have to defend. All right. Now the dwarf defends. One. Jeez. Perfect defense. No damage. And then I point to the other one and say, you're, you're getting it. On next. All right. I have that one attack now. One skull. Oh. Wrestling. If he says, need potions, chat. But he used up all their gold helping me. No, I did the... I mimicked your move. Exact roll. Yeah, almost. You do a... You, <laughs> you choke slam yourself. No, just kidding. All right, but I get to I get to do something to you. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, the... Uh, okay, so the... the uh, uh, Chaos Warrior, like grabs you by the wrist and like twists it in a painful looking angle and he starts to walk on the ring ropes and he's walking around he's leading you along and then he jumps off and like punches you Ugh. Right. Uh, down the two for the board ah his name is John Cena I was thinking more of The Undertaker, but... Not to say he's, you know, the only one who's ever done a move like that. Other people have done it, I'm sure. Okay. All right. I think that's going to be it for me. And back to the heroes. I will move... Seven. So the uh, the wizard one is going one south, two to the right, and is going to cast fire of wrath on the uh, ghost. Okay. okay, so I got a one d six. Ghost? I think you meant to say toast. Toasty. Gone. <laughs> OK. 
Got him. Oops. Lights out. <laughs> Striker. Text the uh, the abomination. Curtis Striker. Skull yeah. One skull and one wrestling move. Like that, but he didn't block the rest of it. Okay, what's it gonna be? Uh, pick a card, please. Right. Bear hug. All right, so he grabs the abomination, is like squeezing and squeezing like starfish and like barnacles and like little shrimp are like falling out of him. <laughs> but even he can't do it for very long because it's uh, pretty gross and slimy and finally slips out of his out of his grasp. And then he moves in front of the door, the south door. Here? That's it. Yes. But on the outside of the room, though. Still in the corridor? Yes. Okay. Yes, protecting the uh, crossbow. We got a potion. Oh, we're going to skip that one and do a good one. Okay, potion of speed. Well, the elf's not here. Bonus treasure search from Mordecai. Okay, potion of resilience. So it's just like defense. So who wants the resilience? Two extra defense dice. The Barbadian maybe need it. Sure, I'll take it. Okay. So we'll say potion of defense for the Barbarian. Plus two defense for that one? Yep. Cool. And we got a bonus treasure search for Mordecai, so there's two of them now that you can do, two safe searches anytime. Uh, okay. Okay, so that was the striker's move. So, Chaser? I'm attacking the one that just did the wrestling move against me. To... Black. Uh, two skulls. And hit. Okay, so it was the undamaged one? Yeah, the one to my right. And then I will take one step back into that other room with the alchemy bench, and I'll do a bonus search. Okay. It's a gem. Talk to the toe of an old right. 50 gold coins. Try your luck again. <laughs> Come uh, on. Take a chance. Well, I don't know because the monk might have enough movement to get into that room and he might have a chance to do one. Yeah. Because the path is still open. For now. Okay. Arbalist. Herbalist. Two north and then one east, and he's gonna attack the uh, abomination. With the broadsword. Broadsword three. Darn it. Got him. All right, he got the mercenaries back. That's it. Just turns into a little can of sardines. That's all that's left. Okay.
All right, Monk. All right, so Monk's gonna roll for movement, and that's oh nope, wrong roll. Here, I'll I'll just do one. I'll do one more. I'll do one more d6 just to round that out. Mummy comes up from the tunnel. All right, so that's a total of five. Um. Yeah, so I rolled one one d6 at a time. So sorry about that. So five, five total. Like, Two, three, four. Special ability? Five. No, no, just kidding. No, sorry. Um, five, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna start off by so I'm out of my key ability, so no monk key business this turn. Um, ah. I will go for my longbow and okay. shoot at the oh, chaos okay. warrior. Okay, which one? That yeah. one. The closest one to me, correct. Okay. All right, three white, one purple. Yeah. One skull. One skull. Darn. Okay, that's a five-minute warning, guys. I know we didn't start quite on time, so I'll give you a little bit extra. Okay, so... One damage? Took a hit. He's got one left. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother moving since I can still attack at range next turn. So I think I'm going to stay put. All right. Barbarian. Go ahead, roll your... Uh, good roll 2d6 two, two because you've got two instances of that spell on you. He okay, rolled a five, so one of them is taken away. You still got one more affecting you. It's like the one the one big glowing target disappeared, but there's still another one <laughs> hovering in front of you. You're like swatting at it, it's still there. It's like the little uh, laser beams from the, the Predator. <laughs> Commence with your turn. Um, let's step in the door. <clears throat> Just the one. Yeah. And I'll smack the guy on my right. All right. With the great great sword. Yeah. Now pin the other one to the statue. <laughs> Three. We revenge. Hacked him down. Alright. Um Yeah, he'll move up to just left of the barbarian and do a diagonal swipe at him. Oops, I typed that wrong. Crawls. Okay, one skull. Got him. Ugh. Pinned him right to the statue. Clean. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. All right. My turn. This Chaos Warrior is going to step forward and attack the Dwarf. What's that gold, sucker? Three skulls. Cha-ching! And one hit. Alright, down to one. Can't really. Okay, he's gonna run over and attack the monk. It's like, don't do it. He's gonna do it anyway. Four skulls, monk. Not so tough without his abilities. Ah, it's a little, 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 little tricky on this one. All right. Uh, so six die. Yep. 
only got two, but I lose my uh, rock skin. That's right. My body is down to four with that, right? Yes. Mummy advances. One, two, three, four. Arr. Arr. Nobody pays any attention. I'm just like. Arr. 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 Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I think this will be the last round for tonight. It's been fun. Okay. I like. I love the participation. <laughs> Okay, uh, go ahead, Bohemius. <laughs> All right, for a moment. You can use the uh, bonus search while you're in that room. Yeah, let me roll for movement first and then to six. But yes, uh, I'll use the uh, bonus search. Okay. Oh, it's a safe search, so we'll just ignore that. Yep. Ah, an unidentified ingredient. A mysterious essence ground into fine powder. Use as a reagent to craft one random potion by drawing one card from the alchemy deck. Okay. So unidentified ingredient. Cool. Yes, so I'm going in the direction of the red room. So uh, north, one, two to the left, four north. And two to the right, should be enough. Okay. The, Striker goes in the same direction, so two north and three to the right. Cool. Your turn, uh, Jacer. No. Attack through the door. Oh, wait. By the way, in all of these, we didn't explore. There's another room under the uh, the graphic on the left side of the map. Just uh, so you are aware. <laughs> Every bit. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Oh, it's probably not worth exploring, right? Like, wait, because he said that. <laughs> he that. And there's well, and there's also a mummy over there that your striker ran from. <laughs> he just said to ignore the, uh, the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was your attack there, uh, Jaser. Yeah, one. Sorry. Okay. Oh wait, hold up. Yeah, yeah. Yep, three white, two black. That's a ticket. Okay. Courage. Does it improve accuracy? Ah, blocked it. Okay. Arbalist. I want to move him to the doorway in the red room. And shoot diagonally into the Chaos Warrior and try to save the dwarf. Okay. Second chance. One. Twang. Oh, didn't roll my lucky red dice. Okay, well, got him. Ooh. 
but he's not dead yet. He's just heavily nope. damaged. Nope, down to one body point. <laughs> yep. Okay, Monk. Monk correctly remembers to roll two d6s. Uh, all right, so I'm going to do a little rollout, roll away uh, to the to the east, um, as far as I can go within one. Actually, okay. So the the guy at the door, he has two hits on him, and the chaos warrior has one. Uh, they both have uh, one left. Okay. Um. I'll I'll go so for my starting point I'll do just two to the east. There you go, and I'm gonna shoot at I'm gonna shoot my my bow at the one at the door. Got it. All right, three white, one purple. So drawing back my bow, letting out a twang, and oh, just like last time, <laughs> just one. Excellent. Jeez. Blocked. No damage. I try. All right, so I got. All right, an abomination. Is that literally the identical roll to that I had last time? So one of each shield and double uh, chaos shield. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, I'm done. Yeah. RNG. Okay, so another abomination crawled up the crawled up out of the uh, tunnel, and uh, it is time. Time. It's Ribby time. Oh yeah. Um, I guess we'll just move for starters. Oh, that one d six for the deadlights. Deadlights. Right. Yep. Get it out of here. All right. Shakes it off. All right. Okay. More influence well, there. Head, head up towards the door, I guess. Okay. What's the um, glaive get for movement? Six. Uh, one out the door and one to the right. That's it. All right, guys. Good game, everybody. Um, we'll have to pick things up next week. We just Good double, game. Double check the calendar. I think we should be fine for next weekend. I do have some more uh, things to do, but... Um, if anything, it might interfere with Thursday or Friday, but probably not Saturday. So should be should be good to go. All right, thanks everybody for joining us, Jason. Appreciate you coming back. Yeah, thanks for hosting. Yeah, all good, good times. And yeah, we've got we had a lot of people in the chat um, from before. Yeah, it's awesome. Antenas, Clover, Aquero. All up, of course, Wardicon, Yeehaw Stanley. Hey, thanks for joining us. She's got a cool uh, channel with that. Oh, what's that dancing game called? I can't remember what it's called, but it's pretty awesome. It's like she and Aconite Shadow Moss do it. Um, I always compare it to DDR, but it's like where you swing your arms around to do stuff. Anyway, uh, good stuff. So, yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and end the stream. Thanks for checking out HeroQuest fans, and we'll do a raid if there's anybody for us to raid, of course. Let's see who we got tonight. Mall Whip, of course, has a Hardcore Hero Quest. It's called Hardcore Hero Quest. You can check it out online. It's a website. Uh, we've got King of Dwart. Oh, Strange Bus. Hey, our old pal Strange Bus is playing Red Dead Redemption. Well, wow. it's hard to say no to that. Yeah, good game. Good game. Okay, thanks everybody. We will stop the stream and we'll go ahead and prepare our raid. Unless you guys had anything to plug last minute. I should always ask that. Anybody? I can see Ogre Horde available now. <laughs> Not a sponsored. <laughs>
thing. Yeah, eventually we'll be playing that, but it'll be it might be a little while. Zargon next time. Yes, Zargon's turn next time. Thank you, Jacer. Alright. Have a good night, everybody.